so today this afternoon I guess evening I'm coming to you live from our guest bathroom weird I know but there's a reason why um, I'm going to walk through our RO system I haven't ran it but just with water I haven't ran it on any sap this year and I just wanted to uh, do a test run here at the house before I take it over to the sugar shack and run it I have about 50 gallons of, of sap here um, already at the house so I thought we'll run it through we'll do a test run we'll see how everything's going and uh, we can make adjustments but since I was here I thought hey we'll just do it I'm in the guest bathroom this is the the tub and uh, yeah I know it's weird it's not outdoor uh, but it is what it is this is videotography at its finest I will tell you that today shooting in the bathtub so what we have uh, what I've got is this RO so this is an Aquatech CDP 8800 this is my uh, high pressure pump um, it has a pressure rating up to 125 PSI uh, so we don't want to exceed that and then we have four um, RO membranes. I think the highest GPD, so gallons per day on this is, uh, on these size, are 150. Now these only have 150, 100 gallon per day membranes. Um, but uh, I, the, when I buy them again, they'll be 150 gallon per day membranes. And the flow goes, follow the blue, uh, blue line into the top of canister one and we get down to the bottom and we've got two lines out so the blue is they call it permeate uh, I think let's just get this out of the way blue is filtered clean water red is the trash uh, that you would normally discard in an RO system but in this case that's our concentrated sap so we run that through filter two and we do the same thing we keep the red and put it in filter three the blue goes down the drain and we run that through four ro filters and at the end we've got a tank for uh, clean water and we also have a tank that we're going to put our sap in uh, and then we'll go back into the buckets once we get one empty so that's the short uh version of this pricing wise i think like this 8800 uh, pump is like $150. The canisters are about 10 bucks a piece. And the 20, I'm sorry, the 150 gallon per day membranes are about $20 a piece. So you're about, with all the piping and everything said and done, probably about $300 for this setup. Uh, give or take 30 bucks. You could probably get it cheaper if you shopped around. Um, but that's you know just roughly think about three hundred dollars okay so i've got this blue hose circled back uh, one thing i didn't mention mike there's a pressure gauge here and um on the red outlet hose that's where this comes from so this is our sap that we want to include to keep there's a pressure valve a needle valve and that re restricts the amount of pressure or fluid that can come through the red hose which forces the uh, sap to go through or the clean water to go through the membrane so right now there's not enough pressure on these <clears throat> when I turn this on there won't be enough pressure all the sap will be right back here into this red line so everything will be coming on to the red um, so it's really not doing anything just passing through this system until we start to close uh, the red valve and then we'll start to see what should be clean water coming out of the blue tube so i like to um with any hydrometer uh, i just like to give it a little spin and we're going to let it bounce there for a minute we're not quite to two but we're real close to it we're 1.8 or so uh so that's not bad i wish it was a little higher but 1.8 is good um, so what we're going to do is hook up the rest of this hosing. I don't have an outlet here, right there. 
I don't have an outlet here for our clean water. We're going to start running this through. We're, we're going to start running this through. We're going to collect everything here at first. Make sure we'll do a hydrometer reading on our permeate or our, our trash water to make sure it's at zero. We don't want to flush any sap or any sugar content down the water or down the drain. Um, and then we'll get going. Okay, so the system is on and we can see uh, that we have nothing coming out of the blue hose. Everything's coming out of the red hose. And we're going to start cranking down this valve until we have a change. You're going to hear the change in the pump as well. So that now it's pressuring up the system. Okay, so I've got it fired up and uh, I was having some problems and I forgot. These systems don't like frozen or cold, cold sap in them. And I just brought that in from outside. It had ice in it. It's starting to warm up. But this should be coming out of here. Uh, it's a slow trickle. But this should just be clean water. This should just be clean water. So we're going to capture this for a little bit. And I've got my sap, uh, concentrated sap, uh, right here, going back into this other uh, pod underneath that RO. I don't have a good setup yet. But we're going to just let this run here for a little bit. This pump will warm up and it'll start warming up uh, the water and so the sap coming through and it'll start flowing a little bit better. Well, it's about an hour and 15 minutes in, and um, the one thing I think I mentioned, but I forgot to, that cold sap goes a lot slower. So I had ran this test the other day with hot water, and it, you know, to clean out the filters, and it went super fast. And this is just going slow. Now, a couple of things that I think I have noticed. One, I think that I, like, put too much pressure right on the gate, and I think I fouled out. Um, the RO membranes so I ran just some sap through wide open for a few minutes and that really changed the output of my uh, permeate or discharge water but I've got this pan about full so let me let me get situated here uh, and that flow is a lot better than what I've had so that's good and then also notice um, it's gonna be hard to see but that is below zero so tells me two things one there's no sugar content in that in this water coming out so that's so that's a good thing the other thing it tells me is that that uh, scale is, a, is slid a little bit inside of that hydrometer um, so I'm probably closer to 2% uh, sugar content in my raw sap um, than the 1.8 that I thought I was at but the nice thing about this process is that I have been letting it run. I went and I ate dinner and uh, I didn't have to do anything. And you know, we've almost worked through a five gallon bucket here. And there's, you know, uh, two and a half, maybe three gallons of just water that we're just gonna discharge. Uh, we'll keep some of that discharge water to clean and flush the RO um, every now and then just to clean it out and make sure we aren't fouling the membranes because that's really important. It's been a little bit since I've done this, so I'm just trying to remember some of the stuff uh, that's really key to keep this running. It's a little noisy, uh, it's a little shaky, but we're getting good good sugar out, and uh, I can't wait till we get this other pan high enough to put that hydrometer. But here, here's what I was able to do while this is just running while I'm doing other things. I was able to take that initial 40 gallons plus about 20 that I picked up uh, the last few days around here on these taps and turn that into uh, 15 to 18 gallons of like 6% uh, concentrate without having to boil. And, I, and so that let me do other things 
before I get into the sugar shack to boil. So that is the RO. If you guys have questions about it, please just post down below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like what you're doing. Let me know your feelings on this. This saves our life uh, as far as the amount of time we have to boil and being over there in the sugar shack. It just saves us uh, you know, time, energy, and it lets us make more syrup on our, on our pan that we have. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Talk to you later. See ya.